All right, what's up guys? We've got a new question today from our buddy Mohammed, uh, and he's asking something relating to sleep paralysis. Now, sleep paralysis, for those who don't know, is what happens when you keep your mind awake when your body falls asleep. Your body naturally shuts down all your muscles, so you're not able to move them. Uh, this is something that normally happens to everyone every night, and the reason is that you don't act out your dreams physically, and it could be dangerous. Like, say, if you're having a dream about running, and you don't have sleep paralysis installed, you know, it's not part of your um, mind and how things work, you will end up acting out that dream uh, in the night, which could be dangerous, you know, you could kick your, your partner or you could knock something off the wall or whatever. So, sleep paralysis is natural, it's meant to happen. However, when you try a wake-induced lucid dream, uh, which involves keeping your mind awake through this process, you are very aware of the fact that you can't move. Uh, and this is known as sleep paralysis, it can be scary, now, as part of the waking juice lucid dreaming technique, which involves deliberately trying to stay awake whilst you fall asleep, okay, um, you should not move any of your muscles until the sleep paralysis sets in. So the idea is to sort of paralyze yourself um, intentionally. So deliberately don't move anything until you can't move anything. I hope this makes sense. So his question today is, can I swallow or move my tongue whilst I'm trying to induce sleep paralysis and awake induce lucid dream? That's the first part of the question. So I'm just going to go ahead and answer that. Um, yes, you can swallow. Um, try and move your tongue as little as possible because obviously it's going to keep you engaged in movement. It's going to keep you awake. Um, but yeah, obviously if you need to swallow, then swallow. Uh, there's no point sitting laying there with a dry mouth, you know. Because um, you'll just be thinking about that and you'll be distracted and you won't be able to um, focus properly on the lucid dream that you're trying to have. So, I hope that answers that question. Uh, now, your second part of the question here is, can I put my headphones on and set it to binaural beats? Uh, now, I'm assuming you mean, can you put your headphones on uh, before you start to induce sleep paralysis and sort of lay down? Yes, you can. Um, especially if you're doing this in the early morning, which you should be for a waking juice lucid dream. If you're doing this um, sort of 4, 5 a.m., two hours before you would normally wake up, then yes, I would in fact advise you, I would say you should listen to Binaural Beats at that time. Um, I've got some great links actually, I'm going to put something in the description for you guys. Um, there's some great um, Binaural Beats that I've, uh, I've had a chat with the, the producer of these beats and I've, I've used them myself, they're actually really good, they work quite well. Um, so I'll put a link to those. Um, and yes, I would say, say, say for example, if you're trying a wake induced lucid dream um, and you want to induce sleep paralysis and go through that process, yeah, wake up, um, set your binaural beats, put your headphones on, make sure you're laying comfortably. Um, I find actually it's quite difficult to lay comfortably on my side with headphones in because obviously it's going to be sort of digging into the inside of one of your ears. So if you want to use binaural beats, then lay on your back um, and yeah, go ahead. So, I hope that answers your question. If you have a question, please email it in to contact at houseoflucid.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.